Well, when you think of San Antonio attractions, you might automatically picture the Alamo or maybe even the Riverwalk. But you definitely can't forget the team that put our city on the map. And some people have taken steps to make sure the San Antonio Spurs, while winning or losing, stay in the spotlight. Katrina Weber gives us a look at some artistic tributes to the team in this week's If These Walls Could Talk. While it may be said that everyone loves a winner, try telling that to fans of the San Antonio Spurs. Lifelong Spurs fan. Love them. Five championships, a dynasty, Hall of Fame coach, Hall of Fame players. It doesn't get any better than that. Carlos Woods wears his team pride on his clothing, even when the team may not be winning. Others have made more permanent declarations, murals on walls all over town. There are a couple on the south side, the perfect backdrops for this man's TikTok videos. Or this one on the east side, inspiring bragging rights. Some even pay tribute to the team mascot. All of them are fabulous. If you look at them, you drive around town, various different parts of San Antonio, you see these murals. I'm not a big Spurs fan, but I understand what they mean in San Antonio. Still, Rodney Miller does have his favorites, including this one on East Houston. It seems to be a big draw, along with one right across the street. We have a lot of people from all out of town coming. Oh. and taken. I even had to go down and take a picture of a lady myself. While most of the murals pay tribute to the team's great history, this is one that seems to be inspiring the Spurs to keep going. It features the faces of people the whole city hopes will be future champions. The paintings all over Rudy's seafood seem to match the hoop dreams in some people's hearts. It's a pretty tough couple of years, but uh, uh, you know, the Spurs eventually, they're going to get it together. By no doubt. Yes, we can. Pop, with Pop as coach, we're going to do it again. Katrina Weber, KSAT 12 News.